Oh, great. Awesome. Um, end of the preseason, so it's, to, it's time to for the real stuff. Fun part of the year. You guys feel like you're ready? Yeah, yeah, I think we've done a, a great job of, uh, you know, with, with all the new pieces. I think the coaching staff has done a great job of uh, preparing us every day. I think we've been, you know, having some very efficient practices. Uh, a lot of information, but um, they do a good job of spreading it out and uh, letting us play in. And, and you know, we've, uh, we're getting a lot better. How would you evaluate with Zach, how Zach's been playing and what he's going to give you? Uh, he's, he's been great. Um, this obviously is my first time, you know, seeing him on a daily basis. And, a uh, true professional, comes to work every day. He's in the weight room taking care of his body. Um, he had a little ankle injury in the summer, but you know he's done all the right things to get himself ready to play. And um, I'm most impressed with his 17-footer's uh, his mid-range game is great. Uh, very high IQ, um, you know, at his position. So uh, he's going to help us. A lot. He's going to help us tremendously this year. What's the focus here? You know, you have a few days before opening night. I mean, what are you guys working on? What are you What are you trying to tighten up before the first game? Uh, just our defensive schemes, uh, you know, communicating a little bit more and uh, putting ourselves in certain situations uh, defensively to make sure, you know, we're we're uh, we're ready. Uh, they're, they're a great team as far as their DHO actions with uh, Jokic and Murray and um, Gary Harris. So uh, focusing on that right now and um, and just make sure we bring the energy. We're going to be in the motor uh, on our home floor and we're looking to protect it. This game, this game is double actually. It's a division game is too, uh, division game as well. So it's, it's pretty important. Uh, recently, the GMs voted Dame as the best leader in the NBA. Is that something you agree with? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, wholeheartedly. Um, you know, when I came here, it's one of the, the things that stood out the most. Uh, how vocal he was. Um, you know, pulling all the guys aside and you know, kind of explaining the game to him. And uh, you know, he's he's so selfish, uh, selfless. Sorry that um, you know it, it just rubs off on everybody else, and that's the true identity of this team. Um, everyone's uh, for each other's best interests, and um, all the new guys are fitting in. We're all fitting in pretty good because of that. Have you felt comfortable being kind of vocal using your leadership as well? Yeah, um, you know, when I first got here, I didn't want to kind of you know bum rush the scene, but you know, slowly I'm starting to feel comfortable in that role of uh, being vocal, uh, especially defensively. You know, just kind of. Bringing energy, uh, you know, leading them, lead by example. Uh, when I come off the bench and bringing that spark. I saw that Hassan won the Hustle Award. Yep. Um, what have you seen from him as a teammate? That's big for him, you know, um, to bring because that's what we're going to need. We're going to need him to put in that work, and uh, you know, he had, he's had some bad luck this this preseason with some injuries and and whatnot. But uh, he's still, you know, showing up every day, being himself. Uh, you know, kind of happy-go-lucky, working hard, and uh, you know, bringing that that goofy energy we need. <laughs> Well, I was this is kind of silly question, but I know you've been vocal about how much you love Portland. But today, the rain was coming down. You still love Portland as much? Yeah, I, I mean, I woke up and uh, you know, the sun actually came out for a little bit, so that was great. And then, uh, you know, right across the lake, the, the maple trees are starting to turn color, so it looks like a portrait every time I wake up. And I love it, man. I mean, I play indoors anyway, so uh, no big deal for me. Hey, can I ask you again about what I kind of asked you about the other day about your shoes? I think you oh, yeah. just talked to you on mic about it. So I don't know if you have the writing on there today, yeah. but obviously the Bible verse, but then the other day you had a number on there. What, yeah. was, the, what was that? Uh, 499, That's my. Uh, that was my NBA rank my uh, rookie season. I was ranked 499 out of 500 players, and there are only 450 guys in the league, so I'm not sure who came up with it, but, uh, you know, it's something I still hold on to. Um, it's been a you know a tremendous journey, and I was talking to my mom the other day, and she was just kind of recapping you know some of her memories of you know my seven previous seasons, and uh, you know when you're in it, it's, it's kind of hard to you know sit back and uh, reminisce a little bit because everything's happening so fast. But you know the, the times you get to kind of sit back and see where you come from, you know it just brings a smile to your face, and uh, you know you got to love your journey. So that was ESPN that ranked you. That? Yeah, ESPN ranked. So you've been in the league what seven years? I mean, why, why do you still think about that? Why are you still putting that on your shoes? I mean, you know, you got to remind yourself. Uh, uh, was undrafted and uh, signed a very lucrative deal uh, four years ago, and um, you know, I'm still, you know, trying to remain true to who I am, um, and you know, not letting the success get to you and all that other riffraff. You know, just kind of staying humble and hungry and and approaching every day and, and trying to work. Who was that ranking? Yeah. Uh, Eddie Curry. Eddie Curry. Yeah, he was the number one pick. So I mean, it's, I wonder how he feels about that. But uh, yeah, I was 499. They said some dead guys on there in front of me. So. <laughs> what was your reaction when? Do you remember your reaction when you first read that? Uh, 
I didn't know what it was at first. I mean, I you know, I've never, I've never been ranked on anything. I think like my prep All Stars photo when I was in high school was just like a gray head, you know. <laughs> so I've never really been into all the the rankings and stuff, anyways. But uh, you know, I took it upon myself to get better, and I think the next year I jumped up like 133 spots, uh, and then the year after that I jumped up again, and uh, going into last season I was uh, top 100. So uh, you know, I. I tell people I'll pay attention to it, but I do a little bit. You but, have a face uh, now. Yeah, I got a face on there. I got a nice big smile, so it uh, feels good. It probably doesn't numbers. change you when you're 499 or in the top 100, though. It doesn't change you. No, you're no, no. I mean, it's just a testament to the work, and, you know, that's I kind of live by that, and that's why I tell all the young guys, you know, coming to the league, like uh, our training camp guys are just left. I'm like, man, it's, it's never over. Um, there's always an opportunity. Just believe in yourself. Keep working. Uh, find your niche that gets you in and, and you'll continue to, uh, you know, improve your game. Do you put that number and then the Bible verse on your game shoe sometimes? Yeah, too, yeah, I got that. I got a 499 and then the Bible verse is, uh, I put 2C57 on my sneakers. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7, walk by faith, not by sight. Uh, and then I got my son's name, Jack, with a little smiley face on there. So, yeah, that's, that's what goes on there. Every game. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you.